The mangrove cover in India is about 0.15% of the country's total geographical area. Mangroves are a unique type of coastal ecosystem found in tropical and subtropical regions. They are dense forests of salt-tolerant trees and shrubs that thrive in intertidal zones where the land meets the sea. Such forests play a critical role in biodiversity conservation. They are not only efficient carbon sinks, but also act as natural filters, trapping and removing pollutants and excess nutrients from the coastal waters before they reach the open ocean. In this video, we talk to S.V. Rama Rao, an Indian Forest Services officer, about how mangroves protect the ecosystem around them and what efforts are taken for mangrove conservation. Let us talk to him. Importance of mangroves in the environment space, the broad way. Uh, mangroves is a very unique system, see, by virtue of its existence uh, that exists between the land and the sea. This is a completely unique uh, ecosystem. It protects the sea shores uh, from erosion, from sea waves, from high winds, cyclones, tsunamis, sea surges, and from all these uh, kinds of sea effects, the sea shores are being protected by mangroves. And mangroves are known for its carbon sequestration also. They are the good habitat for some marine animals. And uh, mangroves give good uh, livelihood opportunities to the local coastal communities. And it's rich in biodiversity also. So now the time has come to look into the mangroves and protect and conserve these mangroves. Where do you place Mumbai, Thane, Maharashtra? How, how critical are they to? Mumbai, you know, is a Mumbai metropolitan region. Mumbai metropolitan region contains even including of uh, Navi Mumbai, Thane and all. It's uh, very well known for its mangroves wealth. Uh, almost 10,000 hectares of mangroves are in uh, Mumbai. And uh, about 8,000 hectares has been handed over to the forest department. Now, at, right now, the mangrove cell is looking after the 8,000 hectares of mangroves. And we are taking care of its project protection, conservation and restoration of uh, degraded areas. And some important patches are uh, like, you know, the good mangrove areas around Tane Creek, Mahim Creek, Dahisar Creek, uh, Gorai Creek and Malad Creek. If you travel through these creeks, if you sail through, sail through these creeks, you will find wonderful uh, mangroves in both the sides. In 2005, the Tane Creek uh, has been declared as Tane Creek Flamingo Sanctuary. So in Mumbai, Almost 150 bird species also harbor in these mangrove areas. And Thane Creek alone uh, gives place for almost more than a lakh flamingos. So these Mumbai mangroves are the real uh, force for the mango Mumbai city, which protects the city from the sea effects like sea winds, sea waves, and it protects it from erosion. So Mumbai mangroves, they are spread everywhere in Mumbai. So it's a gift to Mumbai city to increase the awareness among the Mumbaikers where uh, we have a good uh, coastal and marine biodiversity center at Aeroli. And uh, we have already started building one um, mangrove park in uh, Gorai and it's all in completion. And one more we have planned to create in uh, Dahisar, Mang Dahisar, it's called a Dahisar Mangrove Park. Through this we create awareness among the people and they will have a feel of mangroves and uh, it increases the ecotourism activities also and thus, thus it creates employment to the local people. The centre that you have built in Ayroli, uh, how is it? How do, how do you see it as a centre for learning exchange? Because I, when I went there, you know, very interesting, you know, uh, things that were there. Yes, as I said, uh, Tana Creek is it's a famous uh, in Mumbai. Both sides you have got very beautiful and pristine mangroves and almost a lack uh, Flamingos come during the winter season and there we have decided to construct one marine uh, biodiversity conservation center wherein people will have an exposure to mangroves and marine life and uh, marine uh, biodiversity how we conserve these things to have a first hand feeling of um, mangroves and marine biodiversity so this is the first stage and we are planning for uh, phase two also we would like to analyze the whole center and even we are planning to construct one uh, a mega museum wherein uh, it's called a JNC museum wherein some 18 mega marine faunas will be displayed there. Their uh, models will be displayed and uh, we are going to scale up the centers because there is one center where uh, which creates a platform for uh, creating awareness among the people with respect to mangroves and uh, marine biodiversity. In, in all this, uh, what is the role of the 
मैंग्रोव फाउंडेशन इफ यू कैन स्पीक अबाउट द यू नो द होल रोल द हिस्ट्री एंड अच्छा मैंग्रोव फाउंडेशन यस दिस मैंग्रोव सेल हेडेड बाय एन एडिशनल पीए प्रिंसिपल चीफ कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट वाज क्रिएटेड इन 2012 बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र टू गिव प्रायोरिटी टू मैंग्रोव्स एंड इट्स कंजर्वेशन द बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ फॉर व्हिच द मैंग्रोव सेल वाज क्रिएटेड वाज प्रोटेक्शन कंजर्वेशन रिस्टोरेशन क्रिएटिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द लोकल कम्युनिटीज एंड इको टूरिज्म एक्टिविटीज इन and there was a need to scale up these activities so government felt that there shall be a independent body and uh, this foundation should be created to scale up these activities accordingly this mangrove foundation uh, was created in 2015 by government of maharashtra under the society registration act 1860 based on the approval of a governing body which is headed by our uh, honorable forest minister and this mangrove foundation takes care of production works restoration works uh, livelihood opportunities eco tourism works some research works some awareness activities publishing we release some publications also and uh, we encourage people to participate in the beach cleanups and uh, cleaning of mangrove areas exclusively for uh, mangrove and marine biodiversity conservation it's a specialized body uh, looks after these things so only to scale up the works that are being carried by mangrove sir this foundation has been created by government of maharashtra it's working well now and while doing so this subject you know it is a something special subject it's not uh, in a, it's not a routine forestry subject it needs some experts from marine science wildlife and mangroves so we have recruited some 36 experts through mangrove foundation and we take their services for the conservation of uh, mangroves in marine biodiversity mangroves while they were always there they were very restricted for you you could never connect that thing yes. like unlike national parks or places that you go and visit mangroves are not a place that you an ordinary citizen would connect but i am seeing the transition that you, you, this cell is kind of working if you can throw light on that you are absolutely right that is the reason we plan to develop these centers like eroli we are planning to develop a mangrove park at gorai planning to develop a mangrove park at uh, dahisar only to bring people close to the mangroves and understand the importance of mangroves in fact if you go sail through these creeks you feel that these mangroves look much be- much beautiful than any other uh, ecosystem in the world and they are really beautiful only thing so far we are very far from them now it is the time that we should go close to them and uh, understand them and conserve them interesting sir there is also an important aspect that you are focusing on is research and study of these and there are a lot of studies being some i i came across one study which said that you know the value of these mangroves in terms of uh, natural calamities like uh, tornado or you know anything of the cyclones there, there is a study which i think so has been done by uh, the mangroves so no, those details i don't have but they see the importance of mangroves the value of mangroves it cannot be counted in uh, some monetary terms is invaluable but we have a special research wing headed by one uh, phd scholar and uh, he looks after this research project so far we have approved 52 research projects out of the 23 have been completed they have produced their uh, research findings and uh, at another 29 are ongoing so we encourage uh, research in this area because this area as you we are all aware is something new to the department so we want to encourage more and more researchers in this uh, aspect and get more and more findings of uh, mangroves and uh, this marine biodiversity yes. which will be useful in our uh, management practices and sir how do you see the role of mangroves in the future say with climate change sea level rise how, the importance of mangroves in especially for coastal yes, they are the buffer in fact uh, the whole cities will be protected by these mangroves only just imagine no, no mangroves no buffer for the cities in future uh, change in climate uh you will definitely have more sea waves as no sea winds sea surges more cyclones more dominant surges tsunamis and more erosive forces from the sea side all those things will be protected by this buffer only this mangroves only it's a god given gift to the cities we should protect them without mangroves you can't think of a sea shore wonderful these mangroves only can protect the sea shores that is the future future of the cities adjoining the coast uh, adjoining the seas sir uh, with the mangroves only they are dependent yes, on mangroves just mangroves and also the fact that much of your research that you're making is also you're making it publicly available for yes 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 we have our own twitter we have our own facebook account we have a whatsapp account we have a I many full fledged uh, structure is there we have uh, one uh, section deals with research 
another section deals with restoration and uh, plantation activities another structure deals with ecotourism another wing deals with uh, livelihood activities like there we have separate wings uh, headed by some um, experts in that field and they take care of the whole activities we have these uh, staff recruited down below to the uh, district levels also if i were to also ask you because that gets us to a very important thing that you have the mangrove cell has been working on is a livelihood uh, thing to engage the local community into these conservation efforts if you can just talk yes, about yes. that our governing body headed by our forest ministers sir uh, emphasizes more on this aspect uh, we give more importance to the livelihood activities also unless we solicit the participation of the local communities we cannot get good results of this uh, conservation practices without people's participation things won't go in a better manner so to involve the local fishermen communities or the coastal communities who are living adjoining these mangrove areas we try to constitute committees almost 146 mangrove conservation management committees they are on par with our regular joint forest management committees we formed these 146 committees along the seven districts of uh, western coast uh, like uh, palgar raigad sindhudurg ratnagiri and some parts in uh, mumbai so we formed some 146 committees uh, out of that some 267 self help groups were selected through them we are implementing these uh, livelihood uh, activities most of them are fishery related things oyster culture mussel culture mud crab culture sea cage culture ornamental fishery culture and uh, somewhere even uh, boat safaris to uh, promote ecotourism to the local people so through these activities which are funded are uh, motivated by the mangrove foundation people are to these activities and they get some livelihood out of it in return they protect and conserve the mangroves now they are into mangroves now they have become people of mangroves finally talking about the public outreach how do you engage students young people and what is your work yes, on that yes regularly we take up several activities some awareness activities we take we go to the schools we go to the places we celebrate some important days Uh, right now, some N- N- nine NGOs are uh, working with us in uh, mangrove cleanup drives. They put their own people. They clean the uh, selective mangrove areas once in 15 days. The mangrove foundation will externally help them, and uh, through that we collect the wastes and debris on, uh, from this mangrove areas and do we give it to some other agency, who in turn will recycle them, and that's how we. involve the people in our regular uh, mangrove conservation and people of mumbai they are very happily in uh, coming to us and they are in fact requesting us to give us give them the chance to work for that and we are happily accepting their request last year uh, almost 177 tons of wastes was removed from mangrove areas again nine NG- as i said nine ngos were put on the job and uh, with the help of mangrove foundation and the ngo nine ngos we are uh, concentrating on removal of these uh, debris from the mangrove areas Yes, so we try to keep the mangrove areas clean. Yes, sir. So wherever there is a chance, people of Mumbai are coming close to us and uh, taking part with the Mangrove Foundation and helping us in the clean and uh, healthy mangroves. If I were to ask you, what is your vision for the mangrove cell out here? What do you feel uh, is the road ahead? First, first of all, I have to consolidate the some mangrove areas first. The first job is whatever mangroves areas are with the territorial deforest divisions are with other government departments to be taken to the custody of mangrove cell consolidate them uh, declare them as territorial forest make the land records pakka and demarcate their boundaries and put priority number 1 effort on production of these areas first then once the pro- that land is made pakka with the land records once that is consolidated then looking into the restoration aspects third is involving the people in maintaining the clean and healthy mangroves and uh, giving them giving the local communities enough livelihood opportunities and uh, making platforms for the people to have a chance to go through the mangroves and see them and appreciate them through our ecotourism centers which we are creating now and um, making good efforts to have more and more research to get good good findings for the to put them in our management practices so that we will have a healthy and clean mangroves